Oh, there's the headedness. Oh, what? what is that? Whoa. Oh, yes. We are out in the middle of nowhere. We just purchased this 10 by 10 abandoned storage unit for $330, and it's packed into something right in the front that's so juicy. Let's get in there, let me show you. Main reason I wanted this one, there's a mega huge jewelry box literally just sitting in the front and the amount of dust on it is significant. Get out of my face, bug. Get out of my face, bug. There's a lot of dust on that jewelry box. Not to mention, if you look in here, that's hunting camo that I saw. And even it looks like the wrapping paper they have was in a hunting camo style. So it makes me think hunters, and you know what hunters like that I like, guns. So let's see what we could pull out. First thing pulled out is a nice standing lamp here. Well, the bottom's dirty, but it's just dust. You know, dust doesn't hurt anything. Dust is a good sign. It means it's been here for a while. Let's pull out this top box right here and put it on the tailgate. Let's see what's in there. Ugh. Come on, big boy, it's heavy. Okay, dust might not always be a good thing. When it's going in your face, it's not. Let's see. This looks like the kitchen box. We always got at least one of these. Look at that. It's like a can. Pan, dishware, cupcake, thing, egg maker, and just more pans and things like that. Maybe five, ten dollars yard sale box there. Now let's see what's in the little tiny white box. This one's significantly lighter, but it's also significantly smaller, so that makes sense. Looks like more kitchen to me. Let's see. What's in here? Um. Oh no, these aren't kitchen plates. These are de decorative plates. Look at that. The story of Clara and what? Nutcracker. And there's the plate that goes with it. Let's see if they're all like that. Let me wrap it back up first. Is it all like that? This one? No. That's just a light. This one? Open up. You? Is? Well, I thought it was broken. It's a spoon that goes in there. It's just a little Virginia Beach souvenir. I'm gonna open up. Oh, that one shattered. All right, so it seems like most of this stuff is garbage, but I'm gonna keep some of it. Oh, look at the little penguins. Does it have a brand on it? No, but I'll keep a couple, but a lot of this stuff is broken, so we'll send that to the trash. Doesn't that look like a rifle barrel sticking out from here? I think I got a little too hyped when I saw it in the picture, but now that I'm here closer, it looks like it might be like a broom or something like that, but it looked like it. It looked like it. So let's take this little TV out. These ones aren't gonna be worth a whole lot. This TV is maybe, you know, $10 at max. It's nice, it's not one of the super heavy ones, but it's also not a flat screen, and pretty much everybody has flat screens now. Let's get this box onto the truck here. Ugh, it's heavy. This one is, let's get the tape off of it. Ugh, okay, there we go. Okay, I thought it was gonna be all closed, but it's definitely not, it's mixed. I hate the boxes that won't bend where you want them to bend. So we got some towels here. This bag feels like it's got something in it for sure. Let's see what that something is. Oh, laundry detergent. That's boring. That stays there. Just, there goes my soda. A camo bag here. What's inside of it? Ew. Toothpaste, trash, bags. That's nasty. What about this case? What do you think it is? Makeup. Don't say that. You know what? You're fired. <laughs> You're fired. Fired, I was right. Exactly. You weren't supposed to be right. Just to say something good. Just to be like, ammunition? You gold? say something then. No, I've asked you. Um, let's see. Pictures. Very old pictures here. Is this a photo album? Yeah, this is a very old... Oh, this is an old yearbook, actually. So, this personal stuff, obviously, we'll leave behind for the former owner. What else is in here? There's a big white container here. Let's see what that is. Oh look, it's not see-through at all, so it's like a complete mystery. Ooh, are those DVDs? Let's see. It's DVDs. Hey look, some AAA batteries. And some DVDs. Ooh, look, you see what I see? Pellet ammo for a pellet gun. I'm gonna keep that aside just in case we find it. Nothing. Oh, what's in this little bag actually? I thought this was empty. There's something in there. A King's Dominion gold pass and some Pierce Nation jewelry. All right, all right, fair enough. Let's go to the second drawer. There's actually two, or there's three. This one's got double A batteries. Once they go up a size of battery each drawer, that had triple, this had double. Just DVDs other than that. Then this one is all DVDs, and it looks like a vape pen in the corner. I'm guessing that's a vape pen. 
and all DVDs. Pause the video for today's video sponsor, Current, the future of banking. Current is used entirely on a mobile app and with a card, so there's no need for physical banking anymore. Current offers fee-free overdraft of up to $200. You can also get your paycheck two days faster with direct deposit when using Current. Another thing that's absolutely great is there is absolutely no minimum amount you have to have in your account. There's no, oh, I have to have $1,000. No, you can have whatever you want in there, and that's one of the many reasons why Current is so great. Current also just launched a brand new program called Interest with a 4.0 APY. That is 60 times the national average, not six, 60 times the national average. So where else do you see that? Nowhere. The current card is super easy to use pretty much anywhere. You just tap it and you can pay for whatever you want right there as easy as easy comes. Best part about the whole thing is current is helping us give away $500 guys. $500. So go download the app, use our code Jeebus, and don't miss out on that 4%. This red container looks like more um, wrapped up stuff, so probably dishware. Ew, it's dusty. It's been here a long time. Let's look in there a little bit though. If it's just dishware, we're not gonna really go through it. It's kind of that fancy blue one, but there's no brand on the back, so it's probably not gonna be anything expensive. Um, let's pull out another one. Is it a set? No, it's just kind of random, isn't it? This is just another random piece. Uh, so most likely I'll set this out at a yard sale because it's just random dishes. It's not a complete set. It's not going to be worth selling individually. Let's get this down off of the dresser. I think it's dresser. Is this just clothes? It feels like uh, fabric. That goes, that contributes to the hunting thing too. You know, it's a deer, stuffed animal, just a dog. It's a Beanie Baby brand though. Then in here, jeans, pant. Oh, there's the hiddenness. Is that, what's this first? What's this guy? Oh, that's a photo album. That'll go back to the give back pile. This looks like a jewelry box. Oh, it's definitely not empty. You ready? Yep. Uh, look at that knife. Is that a switchblade, like a spring assist miniature knife? I think it's supposed to be, but I think it's uh, so old it kind of rusted shut. It's a little knife and a penny. How random is that? Then on the bottom, I don't even know. Some very random stuff in there. All right, what about this one? Is this a big jewelry box? Family memories, let's see. Uh, where do I get into it at? Come out, come out. Oh, there's a picture in there underneath of this though. Come on. Ooh, there's some watches and some jewelry. Let's see, this is actually just a bracelet. This one is a watch. Ooh, it's got a little necklace attached to it too. I'll get that in a second. It uh, just says quartz on it, so I doubt it's gonna be anything really expensive. Um, this right here doesn't say anything on it, so it might just be a cross. But look at the thing, the pendant, it is a nice little cross. And what is this right here? Precious feet, the exact size and shape of a 10 week unborn baby's feet. Whoa, look how little that is. That's insane. That's super cool. Is there anything else in here? Nope, that's it, I think. Did I put this in here? Oh, it's just the glass. Yeah, that's it for that box. So another reason I bought this unit is because I like the way this thing looks, and I am low-key gonna put this on our patio outside and keep it. So they definitely made custom things out of metal. You can see the donkey thing. And this one, I'm not sure what it is, but uh, it does look cool, I can't lie. It's a shredded tire, that's what it is. You see that? Yeah. Why do I wanna keep these? They're so cool looking, like it's just, it's so different. That's why I like buying storage units. You know what I mean? You don't get the same stuff. Like, where else would you find something like this? Oh, he's backwards. Look. Is he? I think that's supposed to be his eyes. I'm guessing now. I could be wrong, but they painted the white circles there. So I'm guessing that's his oh, eyes. Oh, maybe, yeah. All right, so he is coming off the truck because he's going to go with his donkey friend there. And we're going to end up keeping them. So I guess the next step is, should we go up to these boxes, then pull the dresser out? Sure. All right, let's get donkey out of the way. Move over, buddy. You come right over here. Stay, stay, he's not staying. He needs to go on flat ground. Okay, there he goes. What is he made of? What is that base? I have no idea. Me neither. All right, let's go to the basket, then we go up to these boxes here. This is just clothes, let's see. Clothes, 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 more clothes. Oh, what's that? One little toy. But other than that, clothes, 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 meh. All right, let's go to the big loads box here. This one, unfortunately, looks like it's gonna be kitchen, but we gotta dig through it because something like a silver silverware set could be upwards of $1,000. You never know where it's in there. Let's see. 
All right, I open this up right here. Ugh, some tape. Some tape pulls apart so easy. Some tape will fight you to the death like its life depends on it. All right, this is unfortunately all used, not high-end kitchen stuff. So again, $10 yard sale box. Think there's gonna be gold in that jewelry box there? I hope so. I really feel like it's gotta be something in there. All right, let's get this out first. Ugh, come here, big world box. Ugh, come on over. This one, unfortunately, feels like it's gonna be closed, but we'll rip it open just to make sure. And there could be stuff under the clothes, you never know. Open and open. This one looks like little kids clothes. Almost all, ah, there's a bag of something under here. Let's get this out first. Everything's kind of mixed up. The kids clothes that are good will just be donated because I don't want to sell the kids clothes. What's in these bags though? That's the question. Like this one. Ew, it's a bag of boxers. This one here is hard. Whatever's in here is not clothes. It's like rock hard. Let's see if we can figure it out. Open up. It's body wash. More clothes. More clothes. It's moldy clothes. Ew. Is that all that was in there? Was it the body wash that I was feeling? Oh no, this thing's still super heavy. Oh, there's a second compartment in the back. That's why. Let's see. I'm just gonna dump it. Let's see what comes out deodorant shoes yeah it's just a different form of garbage this is the last of those lowe's boxes they haven't been too nice to us so far that's because the good stuff's in the back obviously or the good stuff's in there it doesn't take a lot of gold to make a bigger box let's see Ugh. open up you what do we got going on in here probably more clothes i'm assuming or shoes uh ew this is the shoe bag and they're all Nothing's expensive and everything's dirty, so I don't even think it would be worth donating. I guess we can see if somebody wants them. If not, they're probably just gonna go to the dump. Now let's turn this big boy around right here and see what it is. See what I did there? I just turned this big boy <laughs> around. Guys, <laughs> leave the video a thumbs up, please. That was a real laugh, right? Yeah. Leave it a thumbs up, help us out. And subscribe if you're new, because we're always buying storage units. Ooh, I feel glass on this side. Let's see. Oh, that's a nice little display cabinet. It would've been nice if there was some nice stuff inside of it, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, the top of it is completely empty. Let's see what the bottom is. It is also empty. Boo! But the cabinet itself is pretty nice. It's like heavy duty wood too. It's not the cheap plywood stuff. So you know what? I'm not mad at that. I think I'm gonna cry. You know why? <laughs> There's a dead bear. Or he's not even a bear. What That's is a he? Slot. And the stroller came down with it. That is a giant sloth. Look at this dude. Huge. He's like four and a half, five feet tall. That's a big man right there. You sit right there and get comfortable. So we didn't cover anything new in the back? Mm, not that I see. A few more boxes, a few more wood furniture stuff. We'll see, I guess. Let's get this tree out really quick. Ugh. Don't fall on my head, please. Whatever you are, I beg of you. I don't want nothing to fall on my head. Is this part of a car? It looks like it. What the heck is but that? But it also seems too small to be. Yeah, I feel like it's part of a kid's car, like a little toy car maybe. We'll see if we find a toy car in here. But this is some brand new hunting themed wrapping paper along with a all white Christmas tree. So again, yard sale stuff right there. All right, let's get the box off top of that wood thing here and see what's in this one. Ooh, looks like junk to be honest with you. Let's see, papers, I see a binder maybe. Let's see, some cards, that would be nice. Hopefully not school work. Boom. Boo, shopping list. Okay, more books, more paper, more school work. Uh, what is this binder all the way down here? Dang it. More just paperwork. Meh. Let's set that one aside, Paul. The next one, uh, bottom or top? Top. Top, all right. Better not knock this down. <clears throat> okay, it's coming down. Let's put this right here and get the top one. Oh. Heavy, 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 heavy. Let's see. Ooh, did you hear that? That sounded weird. Let's see what's inside of it. Open up. Why do these boxes not cooperate? Is this more kitchen? I think we may have more kitchen stuff. Drain, plates. Yeah, this one's unfortunately kitchen all the way down. You picked the wrong box. Sorry. Let's get these last two Lowe's boxes off of that wood thing and move it. Cause whatever's behind it looks super interesting. All right, is anything in this one? Ew, bathroom, I see pads. 
makeup, more makeup. Any jewelry in here? Because a lot of people keep jewelry boxes in the bathroom. Uh, not seeing it. What about on this side? No, unfortunately. Makeup and bathroom all the way down. Let's get that one aside. Let's get the other one. Before I do that, you see what this like Marvel looking design or whatever is behind it? It looks super cool, whatever yeah. it is. I'm excited to get to that. Let's get this box here. Hmm, looks interesting. Sorry, I like taking, you know, peeks. This is, what is that, a toaster? A toaster, uh, wine glasses, more kitchen stuff, huh? Oh no, there's some stuff under it. I see some football something. Some Washington Redskins. I don't even know what they are. Where are they going? An ornament? Maybe. Washington Redskins though. Hey, like a Deadpool Slurpee straw. Uh, more just randomness. What is that? Why does it have that one pill in there? I don't know. That's weird. What about on this side? Um, a little food chopper processor, storage bag. Yeah, just more dishware. Let's get this big boy here turned around. Whoa, look at that dresser Whoa. in the back. That's cool. As, you Can't really what? see it yet. Oh, it's super nice looking. Okay, first off, let's look in here. Look at all these DVDs. Is that all the way through? Dang. That's probably 50 to 60 DVDs. And it looks like a DVD player underneath, I think. But that is what I'm really interested in right now. I think we'll probably keep the DVDs and might throw this thing to the dump because it's moldy, but the DVDs are in good shape. Moved all the DVDs out of the way. There were some interesting things behind them. Let's just say that. One, the NES Classic Edition. It's got everything except the console in the box. So hopefully we find that. Two, look at what I see. A UTG third gen high profile see-through mount. I didn't open this up to see if it was in there, but oh, it's just a, ah, that's not the whole thing. But even if it's not, that means that my theory to originally begin with, with being guns in here, is that much more realistic. Because there's a lot of boxes back here. It could be anywhere. Now I'm going to start getting stuff off the top of this because I really want to see what's inside of there. But I think we should clear the top first. Ugh. Let's see what's in this black bag. It's definitely not closed like I was assuming. It is uh, very random looking. Let's see what's, what is this. Uh, some makeup and some tools. Okay, very random. You ever just wonder the mindset of some people that are storing stuff? I always wonder if it's in a rush or what's going on. Uh, nothing in here that I'm seeing. It's a razor, some clothes. There's some more DVDs over here, as if we didn't have enough already. But hey, we'll take all of them. There's a couple more. Appreciate that. What else is over here? Fifty Shades of Grey. Ooh, you see those ninja reflexes? Oh, it's a pencil thing. Nothing in there besides pencil. Is that a flash drive? No, just a magnet. So nothing else inside of here. I'm looking through here. Camo wallet. It's in pretty nice shape. Put it over there. Other than that, do you need this? Oh, what the heck? Is it attached to the gloves? Oh, it's Velcro. I was like, what kind of fancy warming gloves are these? Other than that, I think that's just about it for that bag. Get the next box off of here. Ooh, we see that interesting black case up there? I see a black case that I want to get into now. Yep. Okay, we'll figure that out in a second. First, let's see if this box is anything. Feels like clothes. You can tell when it's clothes usually. Ooh, diapers. Lovely suits, ties, clothes, clothes. All the way to the bottom. Nothing but clothes. Let's go get the other Lowe's box first. This smushed one, it's kind of smushed. This just says stuff on it. Nice. I love when it's nice and descriptive like that. Stuff. Sweet. Let's see. What in the heck is that thing? Is this a radio or a CD player? You see that? Yeah. That's definitely an old one. Got some family pictures. Papa Smurf. And a bunch of stuffed animals, which, yeah, probably not going to keep because they have that. They don't see mold but they smell like mold, so it's probably not worth giving anybody. Looked a little bit further into the clothes bag and look, or box, look what we found. These two Washington Redskins, this one's really old, you can tell. 
but this one's actually official NFL brand. You can see it on the tag there, and it's a lot bigger. But now that they had to change their name to the Washington football team instead of the Washington Redskins, stuff with that logo and name on it, it's gonna start going up in value. Let's start getting some of these clothes bags out of here. Like this one, it's like towels and t-shirts. Meh. Same with that one. Meh. Ugh, this one's old dirty pillows. Also, garbage. Should I get this down or get the last box first? Last box. All right, let's get the last box really quick. Oh, this one's way heavier than the other ones. I was not expecting that. Holy crap. Did you hear that? Yes. This is a heavy box. All right, let's see. There's no way that's all closed. I don't believe it, if it is. No, I see lots of books, that's why. The next worst thing. Oh, look, there's an old, it's signed. I think, you see that? That's Earnhardt Jr. And it's signed. That's pretty cool, isn't it? We we'll have to look up his autograph. To give to my dad. Yeah, that's what I meant. Oh, what, what is that? What is that? Oh, whoa. We'll look at that in one second. First, let's continue uh. through the box. Don't do it. Aww. That's cheating. That is cheating. What is all this? <laughs> this is all paint of some kind. Some string, a calculator. Ooh, a wallet. And some pictures. Ew, the wallet's gross though. But, you know, money's money if it's in there. It's mostly mold. Definitely gotta take a shower when I get home after this moldy unit. There's a bunch of junk in here. Here's a watch. And just pictures for the most part. Look at the old school Simpsons keychain. I feel like I should take that too, because Simpsons is cool. Alright, on this side, anything else? Ew, a Fitbit. Huh, that feels like it's in there. I don't know. I've never found a Fitbit box. I don't know the weight of them. Well, told me, huh? <laughs> All right, you know what Brown I want to see. What do you think it is? What you guess? All right, let's see. Whoa. Keepsake. It's like a keepsake box. That's exactly what it is. Let's look in here first. Whew, that's a lot of jewelry and pins. And who knows what's gold in there. That's a lot. This is a, look at that. <laughs> Smiley face earrings. Makes me think of the old Walmart. Look at these old letters and envelopes. I wish they had dates on them. I'd really like to know. Does it have a postmark date? No, that one didn't. More jewelry here. Just trying to not show their pictures. There's a bunch of earrings, a collector spoon. I see a dime. Did it happen to be silver by any chance? 1975, no. Um, what else is in here? What's that? That's a jewelry box right there. Jewelry vault. Whoa. That's probably too yellow to be gold. But still, it's got, what is it, a little hummingbird or something? Looks like it. Looks like a little hummingbird. What else is in here? Some matches, some random stuff. Ooh, this, these kind of necklaces. Nah, never mind. I didn't see the bottom of it. You could tell it's not gold. Uh, other than that, some change, some jewelry, and just random things. We'll definitely look into this thing here in more detail. Check out now that we got this clear. This is beautiful. I usually am not a furniture person, but I really like the way this looks. Do you think we can keep it? If it's not too heavy, yeah. I don't think it's going to be that heavy, but if it's super heavy, then yeah, I probably don't want it. But I almost want to put this in my bedroom. Just clean let's it up see. a little bit. Yeah, let's see what's inside. This is their gun cabinet, obviously. <laughs> oh, whoa. It's definitely random, that's for sure. Do I dare open this side? Okay. I like how it's so random, but nothing fell out. That's pretty impressive. <laughs> um, puppy pads. Ooh, I see an iPhone box. That's, that's an old one, isn't it? An iPhone SE. Is that the OG iPhone? Yeah, man, that's old. No phone, dang it. Uh, what else do we have in here? What's that? That's got to be jewelry. Come on. I sound like a necklace. Oh, yes. See, that's what I've been waiting for. Can we take it to the truck really quick? Sure. I just want to take a couple look at the rings and necklaces to see if I see markings. This is the kind of stuff that looks real. That looks like gold. Let me check out this ring first. Oh, yeah, I see a marking. This is 14 karat gold. This one right here is four, no, hold on, 12 karat gold right there. This one, 925 sterling silver. This one, oh, that's nice. I don't want to take it out of the thingy yet, but look at that. It le definitely looks nice. So I'm super happy. Let me put all these back in here. Super happy, because like I said, we only paid 330. It doesn't take a whole lot of gold to make up 330 bucks. So let's keep looking in here. Gosh, what about that? Nah. What about that? Ooh. All right, let's keep pulling stuff out. Oh, I see more jewelry boxes. I'm bringing this back to the truck. This is getting obnoxious, isn't it? For hey. me walking backwards, yes. Hey. 
I still love you. Well, I love you too. <laughs> All right, let's see what's in here. Oh, you are the key to my heart. Here. Thank you. You're welcome. That's a good present, actually. Oh, I thought this was gonna work, but it didn't. Another jewelry box right here. What's this one? Oh, just the poison gel things. Are these candles? Uh, uh, homemade sugar scrub. So it's like bathing stuff. I don't want that. If it was candles, I'd keep it. Let's see. Coupons, papers, 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 more papers, and more papers. Not interesting there. Oh, what is that for? Vehicle alert notice. Nah. Nothing else in this one, so let's just put that back together. Leave it for the trash, but keep that with that, because that's the good stuff. Now let's pull out some more. This thing, I didn't expect to be that interesting, but I'm liking it. Oh, I see a ring box and a watch. Okay, you know what we gotta do. Go back, 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 walking backwards. <laughs> what's in the box? What's the price tag if on I it? If I fall, it's your fault. I accept that. <laughs> let's see what's in there. Oh, oh, cubic zirconium. I don't think they usually put cubic zirconium with real gold, I wouldn't think. So, probably not gold, but still beautiful, by the way. So, that's cool. I saw a little watch in there as well, right there. Um, don't know what that is. This is the kind of thing I was waiting for with this unit. What do you think's in here? A fanny pack. Hmm. Hmm. Glasses? Yeah. Doesn't sound like yeah. it. What the heck? Ugh, I know what that is. Nice. Uh, air freshener. What does it say on it? Give a dog a one. A <laughs> uh, that's funny. That's good marketing for them. Give a dog a bone. Yeah, I guess. Let's see. Anything in the card? No, nothing. But still, we're getting more and more interesting stuff out of each pull. So let's go back again because it's fun. And I like walking forward. You like walking backwards too, right? Not really. <laughs> Let's check this one right here. This one's heavy. Ooh, you got this. You got this. I believe in you. See, you're pro. Yeah. Amateurs can't do that. Amateurs can't walk backwards and film that well. I don't uh, even know if I'm filming well. Guys, <laughs> let her know in the comments. <laughs> She's filming well. Let's see what's in here. Hey, look. Some hair pins or bobby pins. This. Baby pictures. Uh, bathroom. Mmm. Pencils. Oh, I thought these were cards, man. Doesn't that look like a pack of cards from the side? Yeah. No, it's not. Uh, what is that? Okay, I don't like when I feel rubber things because rubber things aren't usually good. Other than that, it looks like mostly makeup and bathroom stuff in there. See, I said earlier, usually with the bathroom stuff is where you'll find jewelry because people keep it in there. All right, let's keep going in here. Maybe we'll just stay in here. Can you see in here well? Yeah. Okay, then we'll stay in here. Mercy me. Some pencils, school supplies, meh. I see this. Thing. Ooh, that is super heavy. Is that a tablet that just fell out? Let's see. Pretty sure it is. Look at that. It's a Verizon tablet. Looks like it's got it. No, it's just a scratch, actually. So that's a nice tablet. Let's see what's in the red container here. More. How much nail polish does one person need? How many times have we found like something like this already in this unit? Three, I think? Yeah. All right. This. It does not sound like more, is it? It's more. I hate this stuff because it always ends up breaking. And once it breaks, the smell is just uncurable. More bathroom, more random in here, all papers from what I'm seeing. And then the last thing is this little box over here. That's a change bank or a change roller. Ah, oh, it's not in there. That's kind of cool, actually. I might keep that. And look in there. There's all the rolls, but there's no coins in there. Maybe that's because they have them in a big jar somewhere else in the unit. Anything else in here? More scrubs. I'm ignoring the big wallet here. Let's see what's in the wallet. $100,000. Or at least $1,000 I'll take. Oh, some gift cards, I think. Uptown Alley. That's the place we just figured out existed the other day. Yep. It's like a bowling alley arcade combo. But they're just reward cards. Let's see what else. Go in the center. Nothing. What about the other compartment? Oh, there's a lot of cards, all right. Uh, credit card, rewards, casino, 7-Eleven, credit card. Okay, no gift cards that I'm seeing in there. Uh, there's a couple more cards stuck. That's a personal visa. That's a personal visa. Overall, nothing else in the wallet, but this thing was one of the coolest things of the unit so far. I got so excited, I completely forgot there were two drawers at the bottom. 
This one just has, well, this thing, letters and bills. What was that? A little heart. Nothing there. There's one more drawer at the bottom, which is, ooh, what's that? That a Michael Kors bag too. This is uh, a student thing. Anything in here? No. Not sure what that's for. Is this Michael Kors? MK. Looks like a nice Michael Kors purse. And the inside is a little questionable, but we'll see. But other than that, now what is this? This is empty though. Completely empty. Probably looks like a tampon bag to me. That's all that's in there. What do you think's in the jewelry box? And what do you think is behind that thing? Guys, go down in the comments and let us know. And make sure you come back next time to see it. Peace out.